This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. A Poway family endured six Taliban checkpoints and nine hours of uncertainty before finally escaping Afghanistan. This evening, they're back home. Yasin Rawish and his wife and two children arrived in Afghanistan in late July to visit family. Ready to leave in mid-August, the Taliban takeover halted their exit. A friend put him in touch with someone at the U.S. Embassy who told him where he needed to be at the Kabul airport. After a gauntlet of Taliban checkpoints and several threats, Rawish says he saw the U.S. Marines and knew he was finally safe. Robert F. Kennedy's assassin has been granted parole from a San Diego prison. Both of RFK's sons were in support of Sirhan Sirhan's release, citing his impressive rehabilitation record. This was Sirhan's 16th attempt at parole, and it was the first time that state prosecutors did not oppose it. Sirhan Sirhan was convicted of first-degree murder and assault for assassinating Senator Robert F. Kennedy in 1968. The governor will ultimately make the final decision about whether or not Sirhan leaves prison. San Diego State is rolling out more than a dozen COVID testing vending machines on campus. The vending machines offer up free grab-and-go testing kits. They're part of the school's new testing program for unvaccinated people. The Cal State system is requiring all students and staff be vaccinated. Those who qualify for an exemption will have to submit to weekly COVID testing. There have been 15 confirmed COVID cases among SDSU students in the last seven days. Each vending machine has a drop-off box and is available 24 hours a day.